The Maddening. Continue to write the story, which is but a small transcript of my experience, of what my friend Wolfhard has called the Epic of the Ages. After I left Wolfhard's house, I went to light a cigarette with the passing of my friend. Wolf was nigh. He was on the edge of eternity. I was with him at his old residence, on his deathbed, and I thought I would hit on his nurse when I arrived because she was cute. But after my conversation with him and the stories he told me of a man with not many regrets, I pondered what to do with the raw data and the information he gave me. What am I supposed to do? Why should I care about all those human beings dead? Why should I worry about things that have no business being in anybody's head anyway? These were questions I asked myself. And when my cigarette refused to light because of the humidity outside, there was one question that kept me from smoking that night. Why all the smoke and mirrors? I thought to myself. Needless to say, that was the last day I smoked a cigarette. Before Wolf fell asleep, he told me that he had traveled into eternity. At immense speed, he became awfully poetic and philosophical at this point, and said, quote, At the lower speed of angels, but not as fast as light. <laughs>